I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. And I'm not even I'm not even capping. I'm gonna just keep it a hundred with y'all. The reason why I'm happy Kendrick dropped this song is for the last about I wanna say three days. I was starting to think. I said, man. This nigga is hitting all the right plays. We need a fumble. You ever watch football and you need a nigga to do some fuck shit? And then I kind of seen the fumble coming. I was like, all right, the Super Bowl thing. All right, I know they're trying to get at the boy. But they forgot about the wheezy element. That might be it. But I seen. But this song right here, thank God for Kendrick. This was terrible. And what I mean by terrible, the actual song is not terrible. But the move of dropping this song at this moment is fucking terrible. Okay. Uh I would say I'm pretty indecisive about whether or not that was a bad move. I haven't seen this clip yet, but this is a high risk, high reward move for Kendrick. Now, Kendrick had two options of what to do after the beef, right? He could have kept his mouth shut. He could have kept working, not like us. He could keep celebrating the W, right? That is the safe way. Once again, round one. It's technically subjective, but let's be real. The general hip hop consensus is that Drake lost, Kendrick won. It's hard to argue otherwise, right? So Kendrick could hold on to the W, but there's now the high risk, high reward situation. Say they do another round of the beef and Kendrick dominates Drake again. The beef is over. I'm mean, Well, the beef's not over, but the battle is over. Kendrick won 2 and 0. Oh. All excuses as to why Kendrick round won the first round. People trying to say, oh, well, Drake had to go first. Kendrick had the advantage. Or, oh, Drake Kendrick had Rocky and Rick Ross and Future, etc. helping him. Drake had to do a 20v1. Kendrick would show during round two, like, nope, no excuses. You, I literally dominated Drake in two rounds. There's nothing you could say about it. And the hype after that would be through the roof, right? But if Kendrick loses... Drake gets some some ammo, you know, it's a tighter race. He might not be looked at in the same light again, you know? So it's a high risk, high reward situation for Kendrick. Um, if you guys don't know, Kendrick Lamar just dropped a song. I don't know the full title of the song. He just uploads his Instagram. It appears to be either Dear God or um, I see another working title that people are saying. Uh, some people are saying called Watch the Party Die, right? The reason why I'm going to say this was absolutely terrible is you, you can't get announced for the Super Bowl, respond to a fool of or a fall <laughs> um, idea of some game two, which I told you there is no game two and the boy or Drake didn't think there was no game two, but okay. But you can't say there isn't no game two, then immediately drop a track seemingly baiting game two. I'm going to be real. <laughs> yes, you can. And he did it. Bro, all's fair in love and war. We saw what happened in the last round. It was a dirty game. People were getting uh, allegations. I ain't going to say the first word, but allegations. People were digging stuff up. If there's anything we learned for the first round, all fair in love and war. Kendrick is going to... Kendrick's the man of surprise. That's how he dominates this battle. That's how he dominated the last battle, right? Remember, Drake kept telling him, drop, 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 and then he just dropped too much that it overwhelmed Drake. That's what happened, right? Of course, he's not going to be honest with you about release dates. He's not going to be honest with you about a round two. I'm still in shock that he did it. Okay. So for me, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I, I do believe the culture kind of gave this battle to Kendrick. I think pretty much if you're in the culture and you ask who got the win the majority of people will say Kendrick and I also believe that it wouldn't do any good for Kendrick to even engage in the game game two anyway even if Drake did want to do that so here's where we're at I think Drake doing the 100 gigs trying to get the people back on his side it was looking a little bit iffy even though he's still charting he's still dropping good music what is Drake charting at though? I'm gonna be honest. I don't think any of those charts, I don't think any of those tracks really did anything. Granted, I don't expect them to because you gotta remember he dropped them on that 100 gigs website. 
And by the time he actually put them on streaming, it was like a week later and the hype wasn't the same, you know? I don't think they charted crazy, but the whole 100 gigs thing, that was just to kind of clear the air after the battle. I think we could all agree, but I'll go all agree with that. But then Kendrick was fired on all cylinders, just to be honest. Um, pop out, hit. He's performing at the Super Bowl. Everything's going good. Not like us, still top 10. This move to me was just retarded. This was stupid. I'm going to be honest with you. Just, it wasn't safe, but once again, high risk, high reward. Just because it kind of crystallized a few things for me. This this move told me that Kendrick don't got nothing going on if it ain't got nothing to do with Drake. And that's what I actually thought was not the case, right? We heard a... Okay, that counterpoint I could agree with, right? Because it is this is just as much as this is diss tracks, it's like a PR battle too. And that is the number one piece of ammo that people throw at Kendrick that I'm not gonna lie. I do think I don't think it's the actual reality, but it's a logical claim based on what we've seen happen, where it's like everybody's saying, Oh, you had to go diss Drake to get to number one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Him dropping this diss track, it doesn't really help that case at all. A preview for a song that was on the um, Not Like Us um, video. And that song kind of sounded good. So I was like, all right, he got a bunch of singles and shit to drop. If the culture is awarding you the battle, everyone is crowning you for the moment. And everyone is now anticipating your next move. The only thing left to see is if you are dethroning or potentially dethroning the guy who's been the king of hip hop, and I'm going by numbers and whatever accolades, he's just been the guy, Drake. I now want to see what you got. And, you know, obviously I know there's an album coming at some point. I know there's music to come. But instead, this started in May. This battle kind of ended by the time June came around. So that round ended, right? We all knew it wasn't going to stop there. Something was eventually going to happen, even if it was years later, right? Um, I think we are like, mind you, I have no like dog in this beef. Let, let's be real. When I first started, bro, I was, I started out like, I'm indifferent now. But when I started out, I was rocking with Team Drizzy. I grew up the biggest Young Money fan I don't really know if you could see it, but I got a photo of Wayne and Birdman in my office. Like, I was rocking with Drake just off of that, right? Um, fuck, well, I forgot what I was going to say. Give me a minute to try to remember. Holy crap. Or actually, it started in April, ended in May. Right, so <laughs> the battle didn't really end there. Now, I know... Kendrick is a very well-read, smart guy, right? Every hip-hop head has probably heard of or read The 48 Laws of Power, right? And I don't remember exactly what the 40, the what law number it was, but one of the laws is crush your enemy totally, right? Do not give them the chance to make a comeback, right? And I feel like Kendrick feels like, or a lot of people feel like, let's be real. Let's say a, a, another round of this beef happens, right? Kendrick drops a couple tracks, Drake drops a couple tracks. And let's say hip hop determines Kendrick is the winner again. You know what I mean? It puts Drake in a hole that's harder and harder and harder to dig himself out of. You get what I'm saying? I feel like that's one thing. It, it, there's a strategy thing. Like Kendrick... I think really, really wants Drake out of here, you know? And maybe if Drake was, wasn't was in the game, maybe he would drop more. I don't know. This fool just dropped a fucking basically diss song at Drake in motherfucking September. Now, Drake is supposed to be the nigga who can't get over this, right? Like, Drake is the obsessed nigga. He's supposed to be obsessed. You just got your ass beat. Niggas is laughing at you. You know what I mean? OV hole, all of that. You're supposed to be the guy who's trying to engage again. Having Kendrick drop this type of song, by the way, lyrically, obviously we could break it down. It's not bad at all. But it's clearly either a song that was in his war chest for the battle or a song directly or clearly aimed 
as Drake. Either or, I just think it's a bad move. You got the win. You should move on. This is a time that, he, I, and, and by the way, again, and you can call me the biggest Drake fan you've ever met or ever heard from. I've told you, I said, when Kendrick drops, he's going to outsell whatever Drake got going on. He has all the Infinity Stones. Now, what this tells me is a few things. Either he's mystery in the room, misread this whole game two thing. I've been telling you, there's no, anybody running back to battle. The battle's over. Or perhaps he just hates Drake like that, which, I don't know, maybe. I think he just wants to crush Drake. Now, what you might disagree on is maybe you might feel like, you might think like, Kendrick thinks he's taking a step forward here. You might think that Kendrick's actually taking a step backward, but I really think Kendrick just really wants to assert his dominance over, over Drake. I think that's what this is. Regardless, I'm going to be honest with y'all, and I know mad of y'all going dick crowd, and I know, like, I won't even look at my own chat, bro, because even though y'all at my chat, like, y'all going to try to troll me for a reaction. Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Let, let's compare these to the other diss songs when they were actually in the battle. At least Meet the Graham had an intent, uh, intended motive, even if it wasn't all the way true. Um, Euphoria, I like that song. I think it's the best song of this whole show. Kendrick dropped this song today. Number one, gave a lot of life to what's going on in hip hop. All right, yeah. I mean, I guess to his last point, um, the point of this record, I'm pretty sure, was literally just to be bait. Um, I think he just wants, just like Drake was trying to bait him for the longest to get him to respond. This is just bait. That's what it is. Now, did Kendrick make a, a mistake dropping this? It really depends on how things look in a month. If Drake responds and Kendrick wins, then Kendrick took a W drop in this, right? This is the master move. Now, let's say another round happens and Drake beats him. Then things are going to <laughs> things ain't gonna look good, right? Now I'm gonna be honest. I have no clue how Drake is gonna approach this. I, I like I assume he's gonna drop a track. Who knows when? How <laughs> is he gonna put it on 100 gigs or is he gonna drop it on streaming? Is he gonna drop it on Instagram? I don't know how Drake is gonna be re respond. To be honest, right? Um, <laughs> that's a good one and. <laughs> Kendrick is very tactical. I don't know what plan Kendrick has uh, for Drake. We're just going to have to wait and see. But I wouldn't necessarily say this is a wrong move. We uh, we just, you really can't be decisive. This is only going to be a wrong, you could argue this with anything to an extent, but this is really only a wrong move depending on the outcome. Because if he beats Drake again, people are going to say Kendrick's the master. But if he lose, loses, then yeah, high risk, high reward, as I said earlier.